I have something important to talk about today. Something extremely important. Is Doja Cat racist? You guys might know who Doja Cat is. Is she considered a rapper? I have no idea. She's a singer, rapper, songwriter. She went viral in 2018 for the song Moo. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. And you've guaranteed heard her most popular song, Say So, on TikTok. It's one of the number one songs on TikTok right now. Why don't you say so? But Doja Cat is constantly getting into trouble. She's constantly getting canceled. It's probably like the third time she's been canceled in the past three years. And this is exactly why. Let's go through the history of Doja Cat. In September 2018, Doja Cat sparked controversy on social media when her Twitter account history revealed the usage of homophobic slurs. In 2015, she was making fun of Tyler the Creator Earl Sweatshirt and she called them the F word. But she responded by saying, I called a couple people when I was in high school in 2015. Does this mean that I don't deserve support? I've said roughly like 15,000 times in my life. Does saying mean you hate gay people? Do I hate gay people? I don't think I hate gay people. Gay is okay. Wow, what, what a statement. And then in April this year, she got into a little bit of beef with Nicki Minaj because she called Nicki Minaj's fans scum. And that's when the hashtag Doja Cat is over party started trending on Twitter. But that didn't last very long. I feel like that was just made to promote Nicki Minaj and Doja Cat's new song, Say So. And then last week, Doja Cat said on Instagram, if you guys get my song to number one, I'll show you guys my boobs really hard. That's a good incentive to get her to number one. Her fans are working really hard on it, streaming all of her songs on completely different phones and platforms, trying to get her song to number one by any means necessary. And then look at that, Nicki Minaj posted, can't thank you guys enough for going so hard this past week to help us make history. I saw it all. Billboard, Say So, featuring Nicki Minaj, number one. Nicki Minaj even said, what time are you showing your boobs? Oh my god, I just realized I have to show my boobs real hard. Uh, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I did play you. I'm not showing my boobs real hard, man. What? What are you talking about? You, you said you'd do it. I think it's not right that she would make such a claim. <laughs> <laughs> and to and to just clearly re renege on on an agreement when people rode for her, Nicki Minaj, who was a girl of the street, by the way, looks like a fool now. And and really, I just feel like Doja Cat, whoever she, is, I'm not even familiar with her, has lost all credibility. These people worked hard to get you to number one, and now you're not going to deliver. That's cold. I'm not showing my boobs real hard, man. And that brings us to today. Trending on Twitter, Doja Cat. Why is she trending now? Doja Cat is over party again? Me playing Doja Cat's song all day and I just found out that she's a racist. I hurt, very hurt. Me taking Doja Cat's black card cause she's undercover racist. Yoink. If you guys don't know, Doja Cat is half, her mom is Jewish. Her dad is South African, but she's been saying a lot of things that makes her seem very anti-African American. Doja Cat skincare routine. Me after deleting all of Doja Cat's song on my playlist. Guys, this is so upsetting. I'm crying and shaking. Who, who would have thought sweet, innocent Doja Cat is a racist? Okay, let's talk about that for a second. Doja Cat is over party is training because she was on some video chat site talking to racists and laughing to their racist jokes. Talked about not wanting to be black, but at least she's thick. And she even has a song called Dinner Nothing, which a phrase that mocks police brutality victims. There's a lot to unpack here. Let's start from the beginning. So she was on this website talking to a bunch of racists. So this is a website called, what is it called? Kitty something? Tiny Cats. And apparently on this chat website, she was in a racist chat room. There she is hanging out with some people, but that's just a picture. Let's see some video footage, shall we? Hey, ADD, you look Arabic, are you? Would you feed a tube into my with a funnel at the end and pour all types of flavor down there. Rooms like this are racist. She goes on for hours at a time. They often say racist things and she jokes along. It's pathetic to watch. Whoa. I don't want to show these videos because obviously this video is going to get demonetized, but I watched some of them and it seems like she's chilling, hanging out with these people, smoking, and they're all trolls. They're all like racist trolls. And this website here, Hollywood Unlocked, uh, asked a couple people who was part of this chat group and they said hi can you tell me more about doja cat's lives on tiny chat what did she used to do or say on there 
She used to be there all the time, chilling and smoking. She was cool with the people in Red Pill, which was for racist trolls herself, and she was a troll herself. And it goes on to say Doja Cat was exposed for hanging around incels and white supremacist groups. She also wrote on a song, Dinner Nothing, in response to Sandra Bland's murder. Dinner Nothing is a racial slur for a black criminal. But let's go into the second topic, making a song mocking police brutality. So she had a song called Din Do Nothing. Here are some of the lyrics. How much nothing can I din do if I didn't do nothing? How much money could I didn't make if didn't do did the things that you wish to? What a dumb song. Four years ago, people were talking about it on Reddit. They were like, does anyone else find the whole he didn't do nothing comment a tad racist? Yeah, it's super racist. Pretty sure it originated on 4chan somewhere. Rap Genius writes, Thin Do Nothing is a pejorative term used in reference to black people who are victims of police brutality. It usually references claims of innocence made by family members and friends. The phrase originated on 4chan on the politically correct message board in 2014. Holy smokes, what the heck, Doja Cat? Is this true? And now the final claim, Doja Cat being racist. Here we go, here's a tweet. Thinking about being black can make any sensible person depressed. Like, just think about it. Wouldn't being white make so much more sense? Life would have value. Footage of Doja Cat saying suck my D N word on a chat room with the alt writers. Oh man, and she uses the hard R. Oh. Your shirt is Someone even quoted her in one of these chat rooms and she said she never once was proud of her blackness and oftentimes would say she wished she was white and how at least she's thick and light skin. I don't like Doja Cat's music, like it's, it's really not that good. I think she really got lucky with that song that she made, Moo, which was basically like a, it was like a meme. If it didn't pop off, what would she be doing? Maybe OnlyFans? Anything's possible for Doja Cat. But what do you guys think? You think she's you think she's racist? Hopefully more comes up about the situation because I want to know more. But uh, hey, t her song is number one, right? Isn't that what this was all for? Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below and check out the subreddit. I'm going to be going live, what day is it today? Sunday. I'm going to be live on Wednesday, Look, checking out the subreddit, going through some memes. So be sure to tune in for that. Peace. Back to eat. A little times I give my snacks to you. You like to eat.